Hello everybody, my name is Iowl, and welcome to Rome Total War. Um, this is actually my second time doing this. Uh, you wanna know why? Uh, because OBS is a fucking cunt. Alright, I'm not even gonna fucking lie about that. Motherfucker fucked me over for, a, what, a third fucking time? So, I don't, uh, I mean, it, it, it was like, what, fucking, uh, I'm so upset right now because that episode was actually a really great start really fucking great start to the campaign and it literally just had to fist me like what the fuck man what's your fucking problem obs you want to be a little fucking bitch like that so I i'm pretty fucking upset as you can tell um it recorded like seven minutes and 30 seconds that by the way is fucking bullshit it just did that to piss me off really and i knew it was doing that right when i stopped recording because it went it fucking paused and i was like you motherfucker i swear to oh i was fucking cussing so goddamn hard about that Oh my god, I I was so upset because, you know what, we took uh, Syracuse, we took Sardis, and we were threatening the main, you know, Carthage, like the capital. We even defeated Hanno and his elephants, fairly easy, with l little to no casualties. And the game fucked me, or, or the, not the game, sorry, the recording software fucked me over. It likes to do it. I don't know what's its fucking problem and why it always does that. I'm glad I'm not playing any other, like, series that I can't fucking just not do like that. I'm glad, like, I could actually go back and re-record shit. Because if I couldn't, I would be fucked. Because, I and I wouldn't be doing YouTube because this is fucking retarded. I couldn't do this, man. And I'm sorry if I'm going on this rant. And I know you guys probably are like, just get into the fucking campaign and stop being a pussy. Shit happens. I understand, but this is again fucking stupid, and I don't know, man. I I guess I just gotta live with it, and because I don't really want to fix it, I don't really want to do anything with it. But anyways, that's my little tirade. I'm done. Right now, I'm gonna have a good campaign. We're gonna do this again for the second fucking time. Hopefully shit turns out either similar or better. Alright? So anywho, we're playing as the Scipii, the Blue Romans. They are the third and last faction of the Roman families. They start out in the Sicily and African part, and basically our goal is to take Carthage and to destroy them. We're playing this, of course, on a short campaign, as we usually do, um, to destroy Carthage and Numidia and hold 15 settlements. Pretty easy stuff. Um, hard difficulty, hard difficulty. And uh, yeah, let's just get into the video before I just get pissed off again, so yeah. <laughs> My family, the House of Scipii, are beloved of the gods. A proud boast, but true, all the same. In return, we have served Rome, ruled well, led her armies to glory. It has cost us dearly, despite the love of the gods. Sometimes the hatred of men is stronger. Our dead lie in many graves, put there by Carthaginian swords and a few Greek ones. Even Roman blades have taken Scipii lives. That we do not forget or forgive. So, now our time has come. The spirits of the dead cry out for blood. I will lead our family in this undertaking. The gods will grant us vengeance. When Sicily is Roman, when Carthage is crushed, when the other Roman families are gone, when the world is mine, then I will stand before the gods and be worthy of their love, and worthy to rule Rome. And we shall prove ourselves worthy indeed. So... Um, oh man, sorry, just that tantrum made me just, uh, lose my fucking mind. Uh, anywho, so, the Scipii are actually one of the hardest factions to play because of their geographic position, and, um, they're also the only really other Roman faction that has to take on, like, a faction right away, and not even that, but with, like, third grade walls, meaning this is not gonna be an easy task to start ourselves off with. Unfortunately, I gotta repeat what I did before, and I just don't like doing that. It just, it grinds my gears so much, but, um, 
like I said, I'll stop mentioning it. Um, but I just I don't know. When something just makes you that mad, you just have to you just have to say something. You can't bottle it up. Yeah, you, you just gotta explode like that. And that's what I had to do there. So we're basically just gonna do what we did before here. Same strategy. Basically what we did was we just went and attacked Syracuse right off the bat. We're gonna do some ladders, do a siege tower. Maintain the siege. We're at war, yep. Yeah, so they actually start off with a pretty good army. They start off with their faction air, two hoplites, archers, skirmishers, and militia hoplite. Now, I probably actually won't be fighting this because I don't really like fighting that battle. That was bullcrap. So we're actually gonna switch places here with our faction air. And we'll take the two Astate units. And we're going to take them here to Sardis. And that should be a really easy capture for us, anywho. Oh, I forgot to take our diplomat. You know what? That's fine, because we actually didn't get much use out of our diplomat. So let's actually head him off and try to make some negotiations with Gaul here. Yeah, we actually didn't make one uh, clear... Actually, the Greek one, actually, we did very successful for. So we're going to make a port here. Walls here. And that will actually do it for the first turn. Actually, we did get some mercenaries. Okay, there we go. So yeah, on to the next turn now. As you can see, I went five turns into this, and uh, just, I don't know. I don't know. So let's just see. Unfortunately, we can't be like the Julii and take our first element. We actually gotta work our butts off to try to do this here. And we're not gonna wait this out, because it'll take too long. Diplomatic information. Aye, Let's get him over here. Set sail. There we go. Completed, We're actually moving a lot faster because I'm, I'm, I know what to do now. Sorry, I had to do something. Alrighty, Prepare back to this. Battle. We're going to assault this. And we're going to auto-resolve it. Alright, I think... Ah, yeah, I went about the same. Victory! Sorry if I'm just really unenthused right now. It's just that display of bullshit just really makes me... I don't know, livid. Just really mad. I'm, I'm trying to be happy right now, but it's just, I can't when I gotta repeat the same shit. So we got that, uh, same shit. I, I, I know what happens, because I've already done this, okay? You can't blame me for not, you know, being, oh, my settlement grows. I did that the first time, and trust me, it would have been a better episode. But no, you gotta hear me bitch now. So, because this was our first task, Senna gave us a lot of moolah. We're gonna repair these walls, and we're gonna get a barracks going. Let's get these palatates too. Might as well. Alrighty. So half of the aisles is already mine. And unfortunately, I thought that was the case. I, did, I think I did the same fucking shit as I did last time with that. What's wrong with me, man? Alrighty. On to the next turn. Actually, we have our diplomat up here we could screw around with now. So, to be honest, I'm playing better now. I took my diplomat with me to Sardis, and I was like, ah, shit, okay, let's go and talk to the Numinians. And the Numinians were so poor, they couldn't get me 800 dinars, so they just, like, told me to fuck off, so. That's what happened there, anywho. So, on to the next turn. At least I'm going by this really fast. Did we go by turn two already? Yes, we did. So let's go by turn three. Pretty livid. So, I mean, like, I'm going by. I don't know where that Skippy I came from, by the way. That Skippy I save? Yes. Well, I mean, oh, shit. Oh, whatever. All of them are overring because I've already played this stupid thing. A ceasefire. Oh, I think this actually happened last time. Let's see if I can get the same results here. And give us 800. Yes, same same thing. Same things are happening. Lily by him. Alrighty. At your service. Watch. Damn, Hanno and all of them snuck in there. This actually might be a harder start. Let's go and attack Sardis. We'll get into this battle because I, I actually like finding these starter battles. They're actually kind of fun. Capua has a port, so let's get a ship going. And get two ships because we we actually were attacked last time and it it's funny because it actually like diverted the fleet over here and what happened after that 
is I just took the fleet, or I, I took the remaining army, because there was like four good units in there, and I besieged Carthage, so they kind of screwed themselves over. Imperable. Funny enough, anywho. Anyway, we could actually talk to the Gauls here. I shall speak with them at once. Now, I want you to give us 800 bucks. Okay. It works with me as long as we get some sort of deal. Now let's go and talk to the maybe Germans next or something. Some barbarian faction. Just get some useless things off them. Alrighty, let's get into this fight and stop procrastinating. Procrastinating? Yeah, that's the word for it. And uh, yeah, let's fight this. Those overly proud men over there are the Carthaginians. They think they are our equals our enemies. I think they are waiting to die. And remember this above all. Our Roman gods are watching. Make sure they are not ashamed! I think that's all he had to really say on that one. It doesn't really say much. Oh, we actually got palatates last time because, oh well, it doesn't matter, I mean, we'll still wreck them. We'll use the same strategy, but I, it actually wasn't too good. What we should have done is, uh, maybe I'll do it better because I, I don't want to lose as many units. Even though they're just peasants and town militia, they just, even like at the barracks, they were just sticking there and it was really annoying because it's like, how were you not breaking? I guess hard, hard difficulty does that, right? Like it just gives a really unfair advantage here. Come on now, you bastard. I kind of wish this was a bit faster. I think I could change the sentence here. But I mean, if it was too fast, it would probably screw me up. Now they're gonna run away and probably head into the thing. Get these guys lined up there. I'm ready to throw their appeal. Let's get them running. Get their generals somewhere between the alley and we're gonna wait for those town militia because they're the strongest units on this one. Play this very strategically. I don't know why they always start their town militia like all the way on the outskirts. Really weird. Speed this up a little. They have like no chance. Even if we butchered this, uh, I don't think we really have a chance of losing. I mean, yeah, keep going. Wait until our units line up here. Get these guys in here. They're gonna go right for my guys here. You guys firing or what? Ah, oh, you bastards. Um. Guys, come on. Fire now, you little pussies. Just run. I don't know, they're going for us. Boom, that was a good move, because my general died from that. That would have been bad. Charge out of there. Come on, general, get out, get out. Okay, <laughs> if he dies, that's not good. We're actually doing pretty well. We're pelting them there. Oh yeah, they're dropping like flies. What are they going to do here? We just, oh shit, they're already down. Okay. These guys then. And they're actually off the plaza, meaning I could might as well win this here. Come on, come on, go, General, go, 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 go. In the back so you don't die. General flees. And they're, Press yep, forward, they're fleeing, the routing. 
And I think we got this. We actually did way better. Because they actually killed 8% of us. Because we just went that slow grind route. But, uh... The gods be you know what? At least that was a better this result. Yeah, three. Victory. Uh, two. They, two of them only died. That's crazy. Damn, that was a that was a really good start to the campaign. I I guess I shouldn't have done that because we don't actually have enough people now. That sucks because we're gonna actually have to leave behind a really good uh good Hastada unit that's barely injured. Let's look at him. He has 77 units. Yeah. Well, we're going to have to. I'm going to actually stick on the line here. Actually, no. I'd rather go with the boat. If if the boat gets attacked, then um, it'll fly off somewhere, but then my army won't be stranded. I think that's the best. Um, that's best for me right now. Alrighty. On to the next turn. Now, Syracuse is going to run it because I did the same mistake as I did last time, but it should be all good. Three I saved down, so four. I think I counted wrong, but you know what? That's fine. I'm uh, going about the same. I have the same amount of settlements as I start with. It's just... Okay. Just I'm not doing as well as I did last time. And now Hanno is actually, he must have seen into the future or something. Oh, cool. Alrighty. Cool, cool. I wish I was like medieval and you could just recruit a mercenary ship. Ah, oh, the great old days. Anyways, I actually have enough Set movement sail. points. Damn it. Came in right in contact with them. Those Attack. sons of bitches. Let's just get rid of them. Victory! The land at Carthage. Yes, Captain. All ashore. Now, we just don't have really the men as we did before to do this. But if we take Imperator. and put this under siege, they might Engage actually the come out and try Engage to attack us. Summon, Maybe. We'll see. It's either that or they'll come with some reinforcements and we're just going to get screwed over. Under I'm okay siege, with that too. Not really, fleet but I am. Ready. Let's get this fleet... Uh, this could go either way, really, right now. <laughs> kind of nervous about it. And, uh, yeah, on to the next turn. Yeah, I definitely counted wrong. We were probably on four on this one. I'm definitely going by pretty fast. Okay, they actually went on a ship. Was it an injured ship? It was. We can actually reach it. Can we reach it with an army on it? Fuck! Ah, uh, god damn it. Ready to sail. It's fine, I guess. It's just kind of a piss off. Aye, aye, Captain. No more move, sir. He might be going. Oh, that's very interesting. Sir. That's good. Joining forces. Let's go. No more Make a move, move on them. Let's see what they do. And we're actually able to get Hastati here now. If we were to assault this, how well would it go? It's pretty even, actually. Four to three. I think we're just going to be pussies and wait. Because Hanno needs to... Can he make it there? Fuck, he can, man. God damn it, sometimes he ships. Yeah, he could probably make it here in the march, but he won't exactly make it. That will probably be attacked. I have a fleet going here. I think I basically outmatched him. Alrighty, on to the next turn already. We'll go skip the I-6 just in case. Actually, we'll go this, but we'll name it 6. Alright, they decide to attack our fleet. We'll probably, yeah, no, we'll lose that one, but that's fine. And they decide to go back. Okay. Wasn't exactly the best. Man, we have so much time because I just kind of flew through these turns because I kind of knew what I was doing. Mastodon and Thrace are going at it. I mean, we'll get a reinforcement here sail. anyways. Yes, Captain. Leaving the army. All ashore. Orders onward. Merging armies. That. No more moves, nah, sir. we'll leave Syracuse undefended. Sir. 
There we go, our army's getting more powerful. How much units do they have? Ah, yeah, man, they almost have a full stack. I mean, we almost have a full stack, too. It's just a bit injured. Alrighty, I'm thinking. Orders, prepare for battle. Oh my fucking god. <gasps> yes. Oh my god, yes. You know what? This I guess this video did go better. We took Carthage. Unfortunately, not really any good battles. I'm hoping a good battle against Hanno, but I gotta get him in the open field. So Someone I don't captured. I don't wanna fight any man, that pisses me off. We're gonna massacre this place. They've already lost Carthage. This settlement, you guys don't know. This settlement is fucking beast. Look at what I could retrain here and train and do all that shit with. Look at what they have. I guess they don't have that good barracks, but look at this shit. Shit happens, though. So, yeah, we took Carthage. Holy fuck. I'm not too surprised. I mean, like I said, the first recruit, in my opinion, is still better. But. It's because of Hanno. Now, I think a great strategy would be if we just starve these guys out and wait until they came up. I know it might be stupid because it's like, you know, you're just wasting whatever amount, like seven turns. But that's okay with me, actually, because if I can actually force them out of their little hidey hole, they might even attack because they know they have the advantage on me, but... I'm no speedrunner, by the way. I, as you can tell, if I was speedrunner, I wouldn't be talking, but we took Syracuse, took Carlos, took Carthage. Maybe if we take Lilibine this episode, I maybe, maybe, we'll see. Let's go Skippy Eye. Oh, shit, let's go capital here. Damn, okay, this is making me pretty happy right now. We just need a good battle to finish this off, and then I would say this went just as well as episode one, even though episode one, the original, um, unless OBS, oh, please don't do that, but if OBS fucks me over once more for this, I think I'd be probably like, okay, I'm gonna take a break, I'm gonna go out and go have some drinks, because me and a few buddies of mine are going to go and post in a row here. Are you fucking joking? Main thing this. Me, and he, me and a few buddies are gonna head to Post and Row and uh, drink some tap. Um, I, Sir, could, I, cannot. I can't. Sir, I cannot. Not you. Sir, you. We can actually attack this like right away because our spy opened it. Unfortunately, it is very even. <laughs> very. This guy's really good at management. Okay, he doesn't do much. Sure, it's this other stuff though. No, not that. Okay. A jab cabinet? Okay. Okay, what about this? Okay, that thins it, but it's good. Move out. Build tower. There we go. Watch your border here. Because now we border the new minions. We actually have to destroy them here. And we're probably gonna march. After we get a decent amount of armor, we're just going to hold them on the bridge, because a uh, bridge battle we're able to defend pretty easily against, unless they have a giant army. Um, besides that, it's just this is a threat. I think I'm going to go with my original strat and just starve them out. Hopefully. Hopefully that works, of course. We're wasting a lot of money on it, but you know what? That's completely fine with me, and they were actually able to find the Germans. That's awesome. Because I was looking for them, too. Alliance, or not an alliance... Single payment. I actually don't mind if I got an alliance with them. I'm not really going to cross paths. Only my Julii brothers will. Perfect. They're usually after an alliance anyways. Without delay. Head down here. Talk to the British next. We actually... Oh, we could do that? I thought we... I thought we can... Do... Maybe that's only medieval, eh? Can't talk to two people at once. I mean, that's fucking more the merrier, right? Get more fucking money. Thank you. Oh shit, you... I feel like that was a sarcastic remark. I'll try next turn. Well, we'll go down to like 400 or something, because they're dicks. Huh. Too good, too bad. We won't be known as thieves. Fucking assholes. It wasn't a bad offer. The Germans even accepted it, you fucking... I don't know. The Brits, the, Brit, the Brits think they're always good, even throughout our history. No, I'm kidding. I probably come from a British ancestors, anyways. A fucking 
Come from the aisle somewhere, right? Hello, everybody. I am back. Um, sorry about the abrupt cut there. Um, so, like you probably guessed, my recordings offer decided to do it again. So I just decided to end the episode off here. I'm thinking uh, this is actually the next day right now, so I'm not exactly prepared, but uh, I might as well recap what happened this episode because this episode wasn't so bad. Besides that, it could have been better. We only had really one good fight. We got Carlos. Uh, we got Syracuse, and we got the big boy Carthage. We're just going to really be recruiting an army here and hopefully smash the rest of the Carthaginians down here. Uh, besides that, we are actually besieging uh, Lilibium. And, well, yeah, let's hope OBS spawns up here soon because it's getting a little tiring of constantly um, going back and forth with all this bullcrap where it's like, oh, no, I want to work now. Oh, no, I don't want to work. And it's just like, wow, okay. So, yeah. Anywho, guys, that's really it for this episode. If you guys, like, make sure you... Oh, fuck. Let's, let's start this over. If you guys will like this episode, make sure you like, subscribe, do all that shit YouTubers tell you to do. And, well, I'll catch you in the next one.